Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Kiva channel. In this video, we are going to learn about how to install Xcode and Xcode command line tool for uh, iOS app automation. So please subscribe our channel for more videos like this. So in my previous video, please watch our previous video to learn about Java installation and IPM and Eclipse installation. So that uh, this is the continue part. If you are seeing the first video, please watch our previous video as well. Like, uh, like whenever you buy a system like Mac machine, there will be Xcode already installed most of the time. If not, if you if you want to check is this installed or not, just check Xcode. If you are able to see application, you can. Or else you can directly go to uh, application. So here you can search. If you have already, you can open it. Else, just click command space type xcode okay so if you don't have don't worry go to app store here is the app store so once it loaded just search for xcode yeah this is a xcode we have to download i have already downloaded so it's asking me to update so once you're done just open the xcode like uh, when it will show you to create you won't get anything at first time this is i have created some sample project you can create create new project get started with playground clone some existing project something and all so go to xcode preferences so uh, in location check command line tools what is installed if you are if you don't have anything here so go to component you will get it here actually so what are the components pending to install i have already installed so it didn't shows it's showing some sdk for uh, simulators okay simulator we can see in next video so this is how we have to install the xcode and xcode command line tools once you're done with this like uh, we are almost cross off of the stage to uh, stage for ios automation okay if you get confused why this xcode and all required so if you're doing Android app, app automation, so we have to set up an Android SDK. That is a development uh, tool for Android the same way. So when we are doing uh, iOS app automation, we have to set up Xcode. So this is this more uh, like more important thing without Xcode or Xcode command line tool, we cannot do actually even we cannot launch uh, a simulator also. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Let's see in next video how to create a simulator and use it.